Hey, Kids Church Kids, it's our last day of our virtual road trip through the Ten Commandments. Okay, let's see if we can remember the ones that we've done so far. You ready? All right. God first, no idols, respect God's name, worship and rest on God's day, then honor your parents, don't hurt or hate others, and keep all promises, including your marriage. Okay, so we have three more commandments, which we're going to learn about today. So let's take a look. It's Exodus 20, verses 15 through 17. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house or anything that belongs to your neighbor. So these commandments or rules are all about living in community and loving other people well. So how can we show people that we love them well? First, we can show people love by respecting their things and not taking things that don't belong to us. Second, we can show love by choosing to be honest and resisting the urge to say things that are not true or things that we don't have all the facts about. Third, we can show love by being happy for someone when good things happen to them instead of just being jealous and wanting it all for ourselves. So to be completely honest, only God can love all people all the time. But because we love God, we want to show his love to other people by loving them well. And it's great that he gives us these perfect examples of how we can do that. Okay, let's check in with Carl and see what he's learning today on his road trip. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Google. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to TV. Come on, man. You can do this. You've got this. Your name is Carl. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Grow TV. So glad you could be here today. Right now, I think we should play a little game. The game is called, What Is That Thing? We're gonna show you a very close up picture of something. Then we're gonna ask ourselves, <laughs> what is that thing? Once we make a guess, we'll zoom out and see if we were right. Ready? Let's go. That was a great job, kids. <laughs> Excuse me one moment. <sighs> Carl, you can do this. You're doing a great job. Come on, buddy. You got this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to feed my parrot, which I have sometimes. It's totally real. I have a real life parrot. It flies. <laughs> oh, hey, TJ. Carl, how you doing, man? <laughs> I'm great. So great. Everything is wonderful. Um, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Can I call you back? Um, yeah, I guess. All right, man. Well, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> sure thing. <sighs> I can do this. I can't do this. Listen, kids, I've had a really rough week. I've seen a lot of people be mean to other people. And I tell you what, I just don't feel like being around anymore. And to be honest, I don't even want to talk to anyone right now. Do you ever feel that way? So I think I've made a decision. I'm no longer going to be part of society or the world as we know it. I'm going to take a road trip off the grid, away from the mean people or the people that don't like me. So first, I'm going to take these headphones. You see, these things will help me not hear the bad things people say. Next is my tablet. I'm going to smash it. Because if I smash it, I won't see the bad things that people are doing. Ah! And now for my phone. TJ? Hey, man, listen. I know you said you were going to call back, but man, something just felt off, man. Just want to check in and see if you were okay. DJ, I'm having a hard time, man. With what? 
Well, this week I've seen a lot of people be mean to one another. It just got me sad, TJ. <sighs> Man, I'm sorry about that. But you know what? What? It's gonna be okay. Of course you would say that. No, no, man, I, re I really mean it. It's going to be okay. I don't know, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm gonna close myself off from society, live off the grid, and only be around myself. Well, Carl, l l let me ask you something. Do you wanna obey God? What kind of question is that? Of course I wanna obey God. Well, then I don't think you can do what you're planning. What, why? Well, let's read the last three commandments. All right, let's do it. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witnesses against your neighbor, and you shall not covet. So no stealing, no lying, and wait, what does covet mean? Like coveting means to want and desire something that isn't yours. Oh, <laughs> okay, that makes sense. It does. So Carl, do you know why I wanted you to read those last three commandments? To prove to you that I can read? <laughs> no, man. I just know that following those commandments would show that we love people. And loving people is important. I know that. Well, think about it this way. Can you really love people if you choose to not be around them forever? Well, I thought I could, but maybe I can't. Now, Carl, there's always going to be mean people and bad things that happen. Ain't that the truth. But there is also so many great and wonderful things that God gives us every single day. I guess you're right. I'm glad you understand, man. You got me scared for a second there. Nah, I'm alright. Since God loves everyone, it makes total sense that we obey God by loving everyone. Hey, Carl. You just said our big idea. <laughs> huh? I did? Well, apparently today's big idea is we obey God by loving everyone. So let's say it out loud together on the count of three. One. Two, three. We, we obey, obey God, God by loving, by loving others. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Well, I just hate that I broke my tablet for nothing. <laughs> yeah, that stinks, Carl. But always remember that loving people is not always easy, but it's definitely worth it. Carl. 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 Oh, were you talking to me? <laughs> TJ, I can't hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kids, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. So today we have talked about how we obey God by loving others. This is not always easy, but God wants us to be kind and compassionate to those in our family in our churches, in our schools, and in our communities. Think about ways that you can show love to people in each of those categories this week. So in the printable worksheets that we have for this week, there is something that looks like a license plate. So we've been talking about going on this road and this journey through life and how there are things that help us remember which way to go. So you're going to make your very own license plate, decorate it however you want. You can put your name on it, put some stickers on it, make it look beautiful. And then on your license plate, I want you to come up with and write down or draw different ways this week that you can love people in your family, in your school, in your church, and in your community. Okay? All right. We're going to close in prayer and I'll see you guys again next week. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for each person you've put in our lives to love. Help us to love others enough to respect their things, to tell the truth, and be happy for their blessings. Teach us each day to show our love for you through our love for others. Amen. Have a great week, friends. I'll see you soon. Bye.